Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining Virtual Drinking Buddy. So it's a beautiful spring evening tonight. I thought I'd crack open one of these. Schlitz. So I was watching a show called The Food That Built America. Um, kind of a nerd for shows like that. But anyway, one of the episodes is specifically about beer. And it talks about Schlitz versus Paps, more or less, is is the gist of the show and uh, having a hard time recalling the episode maybe Budweiser too but at the very least they talk about how back in the early days like the mid 1800s when these companies were getting started and then after they took off it was really a battle between Schlitz and Pabst Blue Ribbon or the Pabst Brewing Company rather and it occurred to me that I've never actually had a Schlitz and it's not that it hasn't been around, it has been. It's probably harder to find now than in the early days when I first started drinking beer, when it would have been a good time to try it, but I thought, what the hell? It says here on the can it was established in 1849, and I do know because of that show that it's actually owned by the, the Pabst Brewing Company. So let's see. Uh, but I think they still... It says here, Joseph Schlitz Brewing Company, so they still go by that, but it, Joseph's... Schlitz Brewing is owned by, what is, is it, I cannot remember Pap's first name, but it, I know it is owned by them. I'm just looking to see if it says that anywhere on here. Nope, and there's not really a lot of information. It's a tall boy. They, I, so around here in southwest Iowa and neighboring Nebraska, I only seem to be able to find it in the uh, six packs of tall boys which isn't terrible it's actually hoping to find a single but um i'll take a whole can or a whole six pack rather all right well this one was ready to go i only got like half the beer there and there is just tons of head to it um def definitely a yellow beer oh darn it oh Ooh, that actually smells, uh, that smells more like a Euro lager than an American lager. It's got a nice grainy smell to it. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's actually a lot better than I ever thought it would be. So when I first started drinking beer, I drank cheap beer, but then I always heard adults talk about schlitz like it was some sort of garbage beer but this is actually pretty good um it, as far as lagers go it's um it's got a bit more of a bready flavor than other american lagers so um yeah like especially when you compare it to something like budweiser or something that it's tastes like it's made out of pretty much just straight corn syrup. It doesn't have that same level of sweetness to it. Um, that being said, the, the bready flavor isn't as noticeable as it is in a European lager. But I think if I did this side by side to any American lager, that's, you know, one of the, the macros, anyway. It's definitely going to have way more of a grainy flavor. Even most craft lagers, they, I think a lot of them actually just use the same sort of recipe that the macros use. And then they're like, they give it a fun name. They're like, hey, look, our lager's different. And then you taste it and, you know, it still tastes like an American lager. Some of them don't. Some do. But, um, yeah, this isn't like that i would totally drink this i kind of wish i could find this in a case maybe i can i just need to look more maybe yeah that's actually 
it's actually quite delightful. I I wasn't really sure what to expect. Like I said, when I was younger, I always heard adults talk about Schlitz like it was garbage. And that's just not the case. And those were people that, that drank PBR or drank even like uh, Old Milwaukee. But they wouldn't drink Schlitz. I don't know why. I, I would drink this all day. And that's really all I got. Um, if you liked what you saw, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Malted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.